Now we just gotta wait for the sink to fill up. Here we go. We got a sink full of water. We've got our Galaxy S3. Going to pull out the camera. The first one will be a video using the back camera. Let me get a focus in on that. Okay, so the first test will be the back camera. Pull it out. Alright, we'll stop the video. And then the other one will be with the front facing camera. Touch screen still works. You can see my camera right there. Alright, now we are recording using the front facing camera on the Galaxy S3. Pull it out. Alright, now we are recording using the front facing camera on the Galaxy S3. Don't make any jokes about that. <laughs> and then stop recording. I don't think it was recording. Uh, here we go. We're using the front facing camera on the Galaxy S3 now. And you can see my tripod. And we're going to put it in the water again. And then pull it out. And then stop recording. I don't think it was recording. Uh, here we go. We are using the front facing camera on the Galaxy S3 now, and you can see my tripod, and we're going to put it in the water. And then stop recording. Just in case it didn't go the first time on the back camera, we will press record, and then don't get in again. Can you see it? Here, let's turn the, the phone around. I don't know how that's going to look. We'll see when the video comes up. Alrighty, stop recording. And then knock it in again. It stopped. It took a little second there, probably because the water on the touch screen is all making it mess up, but it appears to be just fine. Now, I'm going to go back in the bedroom and pull it out of this little case it's in after I draw the case off and see how it turned out. It's going to be interesting watching the video with the back camera that was facing towards me, how that turned out underwater. And lock it. All the buttons still work just fine. Hopefully you can see that the phone is in fact wet right now. Well, not the phone, but the case it's in. I'm gonna dry it off so I don't get my hands wet. Wow, that's really wet. That table off. Now we'll pry it open from the bottom. Stick that little SD card back in there. Pop it up. That water was cold, now the phone's cold. It is a really, really tight seal around this phone. Even after doing it once, it still is in there really good. They really have a tight seal on this thing. I can't stress that enough. And that's not a bad thing either. It's really, really tight. Urgh. All right, there's the phone. It is dry, not a drop on it. Jesus. <laughs> it's in there really, really good. <laughs> but it is completely dry. Holy cow, how did they expect you to get it out of here? This is insane. I got an idea. There we go, I just took a little micro charger, put it underneath it, not in the port 
and that popped it up so now it comes out phone is completely dry I'm keeping it in here I am keeping it in here that is awesome so like you know it's freaking October almost November and it's gonna start snowing soon here in Kansas City so I'm definitely keeping this on here if I you know find some snow I can you know take my phone out there and if I drop it on the ground I don't gotta worry about it getting all wet all right now it's back to the way it was holy cow if you like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos. I post videos on the Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, Evo 4 GLTE, the Evo 3D, and other devices and future devices. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. And for those of you that are curious on what it looks like when it's charging, there you go. You just open the bottom flap, open the red thing, plug it in, and you can charge it just fine just so you can see that it is in fact charging